welcome back to my channel. First of all, I just want to say I am super excited to be filming my intro outside because if you guys saw the weather that we had this morning, you would be super shocked that I'm even like outside at all because it was storming and my lord but it is all good because now it is beautiful and I'm able to film outside which I'm super happy about so this week's video is gonna be a DIY summer treats video <laughs> this is gonna be a collaboration video with Alexis Brown and I will have her channel linked below I would definitely encourage you to go check out her channel because she is absolutely amazing I love her videos so much you really need to go check it out I will have her channel linked below I know I already said that but I figured I would say it again <laughs> I'm really 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 excited to show you guys because I have been working on this for a few weeks now so all of these treats are super super easy to make you should not have any problem at all recreating them if I can do it you can do it I say that all the time because it is so true guys so anyways if you like this video give it a thumbs up and also if you're not subscribed to my channel already go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can see new videos every Friday also if you're interested in checking out my Instagram Twitter or Facebook all three of those will be linked at the end of the video and in the description bar okay guys so let's get started Yay! <laughs> so my first summer treat is this fruit and yogurt parfait and here is everything you're gonna need some Greek yogurt your favorite fruit some nuts and a cup so first I'm putting two scoops of my vanilla yogurt into my cup and then I am adding a layer of nuts and I'm just putting a few down here and then I'm gonna add my bananas <laughs> and then we're adding our strawberries and then I'm just adding some more yogurt on top of my fruit and you can put however much you want I just put about you know 10 or so scoops in there and then I'm putting some pecans on top and here's our finished product my second summer treat is a homemade fruit pop and here's everything you're gonna need to make these some popsicle molds some strawberries some pineapple a banana some lemon juice and a blender so we're gonna start by adding our banana to the bottom of our blender our strawberries and then our pineapple and then I'm pouring in some pineapple juice for my juice and then adding a few drops of lemon juice and then lastly we're adding a bit of watermelon in there and I find that this just makes it have a really good texture and it really made it taste really good so the last step is to add a teaspoon of sugar and then add our top to our blender and then blend away <laughs> so I just blended until it looked about like this and then I'm taking my mixture and adding it to each of my popsicle molds and I'm filling it to about the top almost to the top not quite so we can have room to add our lids which is the last step before they go into the freezer so now I'm just sticking them in the freezer and I let them sit overnight and here's the result. So I ran my popsicle molds under some hot water and then I pulled each of them out and they look like this and they are so yummy. So my next treat is peanut butter chocolate pretzels. And here is everything you're gonna need to make these. Some mini pretzels, some peanut butter and some chocolate milk. So I'm starting by taking one pretzel and adding a layer of peanut butter and then taking another pretzel and putting it right on top of that one. And I'm just repeating this process over and over again until I have as many as I want to make. And then I'm adding my candy melts to a bowl and then sticking them in the microwave for 30 second intervals until they're all melted and they look about this texture. And then I'm using a spoon to scoop a little bit of my melted chocolate onto one half of my pretzel. And this is kind of hard at first because it can be a little bit messy, but it doesn't have to be perfect. As you can tell, mine are not perfect, but in the end they will taste just as good, I promise. 
So here they are and then we're just going to stick them in the fridge for about 10 minutes just to give the chocolate time to harden. And when we take them out they look like this. And oh my gosh guys these taste so good. Oh I'm in love. So my very last summer treat is going to be these fruit smoothies. And here is everything you're going to need to make these. A blender, some fruit juice, and your favorite fruits. So as you can see, I've just sliced my fruit into little slices and then put them into these glass jars so that I can put them in the freezer and we're going to let them sit overnight. And when you take them out, they'll look like this. So then we're going to add our strawberries to our blender and then our bananas. And then I'm adding a splash of my fruit juice. And then we are just blending that all together. And it takes a while to blend this up because we are using frozen fruit. But it's going to make it taste really good because you'll have those little bits of frozen ice in your smoothie. So once it's all blended, we are adding it to a cup and mine is this really cute summery mason jar. So then I'm just slicing a strawberry and adding it to the side of my mason jar just to give it that adorable finishing touch. And here it is. It's so yummy, guys.